Hello and welcome to another episode of US Cutter Quick Cuts. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be showing you how to calibrate your laser point three and then perform a print and cut design using the arms contour cutting feature using any version of Vinyl Master software as well too. First we're going to show you how to calibrate your machine so that it can perform the contour cut. To calibrate our machine we're going to need a pen tool and a blank sheet of white paper. This is my personal laser point three and my pen tool is black because I lost the original one two years ago after filming the older video. This is what it would look like. Anyways, once you have your pen tool loaded into your cutter and a sheet of paper inside of it, I'm gonna be using letter sized sheet of paper. So I'm gonna load it inside the middle of the laser point three so that the carriage has plenty of room to move. And the bottom of the pinch rollers are the perfect distance apart as indicated by these white little markers up top here. Next, we want to power on the machine while we're holding down the right arrow key that's located on the front of the machine. You want to hold it down for about five seconds and then release it. If done correctly, it will say welcome and then change to move to blank when you release the right arrow button. When it says move to blank, you will want to use the arrows to position the tip of the pin into the center of the sheet of paper. Once you're happy with the position it's in, you then want to press the origin button to set the origin point. To start the test, you will then press the enter button on the front of the laser point three, and it should draw an L-shaped object and then scan it. If you're like me and you haven't used your pen tool in a while, it may take a few times before it starts leaving a mark dark enough for the laser to pick up. If done correctly, the screen will display success, and then you're ready to start contour cutting. Just hit enter to make it go back to the origin point, and then you wanna open up Vinyl Master. Once we have Vinyl Master loaded, we just want to have our image positioned correctly. And when we do, we want to just go ahead and have it selected and then click this apple up here. In this apple, it's gonna give us two options once we select it. The top option is the one we wanna select and that's gonna be called Create Cut Contour. This will bring up the next screen and because I'm using a .png file, it's going to ask me if it wants me to use the Auto Trace Contours. And this is gonna save me a lot of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and click yes on this and it's gonna trace my image and find the contours around the edge of the image. The default settings are also gonna be just fine and you can see it did a good job. If I wanted, I could adjust the outline here, but I'm gonna make it keep it right around the outside. Once I'm happy with any adjustments that I wanna make, I'm just gonna click accept and I will have the contour line around my image on the main design screen. Before I go any further, I need to put registration marks around my image. And to do that, I need to click the apple again with my image selected and then select the second option, Contour Cut Wizard, and it's gonna bring up the Contour Cut Wizard window. Once you're inside the wizard, you can see that we have our cutter selected right here, our printer selected right here, and my printing option is gonna be selected to direct print, and that's gonna send the print directly to the printer from Vinyl Master. If I wanted to print it in another program, I would just save it as a PDF with this option down here, and then I could load that PDF in any program and print it in that. I can also save it as an image, print it as a PDF. I've never done that, me personally. The source options are set to show what I have selected, and then we have the mark positions that are set right here. And the default settings already look good, so I'm gonna go ahead and print my design. I am using the iColor 350, which is a CMYK sublimation toner printer, and I'm printing on the Caesar Easy Subly, and then I'm gonna press the design onto a black cotton shirt. It can't print white, so I'm just gonna contour cut into the design and then use the backer as my white. Everything looks good so far, so we're gonna go ahead and click print. Once it is done printing, I just need to put it on a carrier sheet and make sure that I have it lined up correctly. And then I'm gonna load it into my cutter. And if you need to see an example before you load it in, just click the cut button one time down at the bottom. And this is gonna open up the align cut file wizard. And it's gonna show you how you position your transfer and where you wanna position it with the origin point on your cutter. Once you've set that, you wanna click next and start the cutter. With the machine properly lined up, it will scan each registration mark and start the cut. Once you're done with that, you just wanna weed away any unused material and proceed to the next step. Depending on your material, that step may vary. With the Caesar Easy Subly, we apply the mask, remove the backer, and then press it to a shirt. Well, that's gonna about do it for this episode of Quick Cuts. If you have any sales related questions, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And as always, we offer lifetime support with everything that we sell and you can reach our support team at support at uscutter.com. Take care, have a wonderful day.